So I've been in the SH figure art games for a while now, but if there was one character that was important that I was missing, it's Vegeta. And I know there's going to be people that say, yo, why not just get the Super Saiyan Vegeta from Target? Well, yeah. I've been to a crap ton of Targets down here in Central Florida, but all I can find is the trunks. In some of my anime hunting YouTube shorts, you guys can just see anytime I go to either Target or Walmart, it's just Super Saiyan trunks. Which is crazy, because nowadays, I mean, you can still find, like, the Kaioken Goku and the Super Saiyan Vegeta there, but I haven't found them. But it's crazy, because I've been seeing everybody find them, which is like, yo, where is this at? The reason I gave up on them is because I can't find them in Target, I can't find them in Walmart, wherever they're at, you know, in the stores. And online, it's a different story. Knowing that he is about $35 retail, everybody, of course, resells them, and it's about 60 to 70 bucks. Hell, even Amazon has it for like 70 bucks, which is kind of crazy. And I was thinking, I have a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, but I don't have him in his regular armor from either Super or Z. I looked around and I realized that there is another Vegeta. Yes, there's this one here that is coming out soon, but there is the 15th anniversary Vegeta. The one that's in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. And I was always wondering, I'm like, okay, I see that we have a Super Saiyan God Goku coming out for a reissue and there's already been one, but we didn't have a Super Saiyan God Vegeta. But then I realized, I'm like, wait a second, this one comes with Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan God. So what did I do? I started hunting around the internet for this guy and I actually saw him for a pretty decent deal. Two weeks later, and behold, we have him. All I know is I am freaking excited to unbox this and see how this looks, guys. So why don't you come with me and we'll unbox this together. Wait, wait, wait. That's right. Two things I gotta tell you. One, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and if you want to join our community on Discord, go ahead and join it down below. Link in the description. And two, G Fuel also sent us a care package and they included a Kamehameha collector box. They also sent us their new reskin of Tetris and their Mega Man Blue Bomber Slushy Hydration and their new Shaker Cup to go with it. So if you guys wanted to grab the Dragon Ball Collector Box or any of these flavors that I just shown, you guys can go over to gfield.com and use code J at checkout to save up to 30% off. And if you do, thank you so much. Now let's move on to the video. So this is the SH Figure Arts 15th year anniversary Vegeta figure. Off the bat, he has a really cool cover for this box. You can see that it's showing the Figure Arts timeline and Vegeta himself on the special stand made for him. And it also has the SH Figure Arts 15th anniversary text in this nice metallic blue on the top corner. Here's what both sides of the box look like. And here's what the back of the box looks like. After taking the cover off, it's just like any normal SH Figure Arts box. Here's what both sides look like. And here's the back of it. And of course, the official Toei sticker. Upon opening the box, you have the instructions for removing his head and hands. I do like these a lot more than having its own little manual because it saves a lot on paper. So behind the entire packaging is the included 15th anniversary stand. I really do love the way that the stand looks, especially with the blue metallic lettering. Included in this set, you get two different faces, three pairs of hands and one thumbs up hand, crossed arms and a Super Saiyan God head. So taking this figure out of the box, he already looks really great. So here's all three of his facial expressions that come with the Super Saiyan blue head. And here's Vegeta with his Super Saiyan God head. Now, when it comes to the articulation, it's basically the same as the Super Saiyan trunks that you guys can get at any Walmart or any Target. And it's fine. I just wish that the legs were able to go up just a little bit higher than a 90 degree angle. But his joints are great. Now let's move on to the posing. Overall, my thoughts on this Vegeta is really great. I really love the different expressions that he comes with and I especially love the Super Saiyan God form that he comes with as well. I may be just a little bit biased because it is my favorite form that he has, but besides that, I think he's a great figure art to have. If you are able to find this one out there for a good price, I definitely say it's worth picking up. But before I get really too into it, let's go ahead and move on to our final thoughts and ranking of this figure. So there you have it. Now, is this the best Vegeta to me? I think so. Of course, there's going to be other people that say this Vegeta is better or that Vegeta is better. But to me, I think that the 15th anniversary figure arts Vegeta here is the best one in my opinion. I know this one came out a while ago. So obviously, when you try to find it for resale, it's a little bit higher than its normal price. But honestly, just getting into the figure arts and for the deal I got on it, I say it was pretty good and pretty worth it. Not only do you get him in his Super Saiyan blue form, but you also get an additional head that comes with a Super Saiyan God form. So basically, you're getting two different things for one. But yeah guys, to me, like I said, this Vegeta to me is getting a freaking 10 out of 10. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. You guys already know why. This is a great figure. It's really nice looking. It has two different forms. It is obviously a special edition, so it does come with this beautiful stand too. And because like I said earlier, I do have a little bit of a soft spot for Super Saiyan God Vegeta. But outside of that, I just love how he looks. He looks great. 
But if you guys do have this Vegeta, let me know down below if you like him or not. Or if you don't have him, just let me know what you guys think based off this video. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for the video today. So if you want, leave a like, drop some comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe today and join our community in Discord today. And that's going to be it, guys. I'll see you later. Have a good one and take it easy.